and the OKR link. Get yours. Link in the description. So I was just driving down the road on I-40. I was outside of Oklahoma City. I'm headed east and these two little lights come on. Which is a check engine light and the mill light. And I'm about to go see what it tells me. I have 866,000 miles, a lot of miles on this truck. Service engine, emission system, 10% engine D-rate. So that's all it really gives me. So I'm about to hook this up and see what more information I can get. So I'm currently loading the application on my app. I do have an Android phone. See what fault codes it gives me. So it gives me one fault code. SPN 3556 FMI 18 Overview Diesel oxidation catalyst outlet temperature low Low temp regeneration Description This code sets when the exhaust temperature does not increase above the module threshold When the low temp regeneration is enabled Fault systems, no reaction So I didn't have no fault systems uh, Meaning the truck didn't derate to like 55 miles per hour like some some of these these codes that pop up sometimes and everything ran normal so no no symptoms repair procedure check for any dock outlet temperature sensor faults faulty dock outlet temperature sensor faulty hc dozer block additional information low temp regeneration so what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to do a force region which is gonna take about 30 minutes and yeah I'll let you know if the cold is still here or it goes away after I finish my region so I was doing a little bit of more research on this code and it has to do with the seventh injector which I'm currently on the passenger side of the truck. So this is the seventh injector right here. So we gotta take this apart. We're gonna break it apart right here. The seventh injector, which is, which, these are the two wrenches that we're gonna need, the 12 and the 14. You know, I highly recommend every truck driver has something similar like this. Just with a whole bunch of different tools. Just the whole kit. So I'm about to take that apart. Which I actually had that this issue before. And all I did was clean it. And then I did a regen. Then it fixed the problem. This seventh ejector, especially when it starts, you know, I showed you all the miles I had. It starts getting a lot of carbon buildup inside of it. So we gotta take it out and, and, and clean it because you know it needs to be spraying inside of there. So when you have a lot of carbon buildup, you know it plugs up what needs to be spraying. I believe I wanna say it's diesel to be honest. I don't know if it's diesel or def, but I'm pretty sure it is diesel. Uh, we have the, the def injector over there by the one box, but I think this uh it's spraying diesel inside. So I'm about to take it apart. Pretty easy.
So yeah, I'm about to clean it up, put it back together, and start a region on it. I just got done cleaning it. Look at the big difference it makes now. It did have a lot of, it did have a lot of carbon buildup around this area, and I did have to get a get my wire brush out. But it looks way better. You can also stick a wire brush in there. I don't have a long one to reach in there to kind of get it cleaned up, the build up in there too. But last time all I did was this and it didn't help with the problem. So I'm about to put it back together, get in the truck, turn it on and start my region. So here I am loading back the OTR diagnostic app. All right, so one active code still. I mean, we haven't done anything besides clean out that seventh injector. So fixing to do a regen, start force regen. During engine operation, the DPF becomes loaded with suit. Regeneration of the DPF takes place during engine operation in order to remove the suit. The solute becomes greater than what can be removed by the normally occurring regeneration process. Force DPF region may be needed. Force DPF region may also be needed to prepare the filter for ash cleaning. Continue warning do not perform DPF region location with poor ventilation. Do not perform DPF region in location where there are flammable materials such as dried grass or paper waste. In addition, never allow your body to contact the exhaust gas and the area around the exhaust pipe and muffler. All right, okay, cool. Pre-check, safety, parking brake, gear confirmation. Preconditions complete. God damn, how many warning signs does this have? The RPM will increase DPF region is in process. It may take 60 plus minutes to complete. So my truck usually takes around 32 33 minutes i'm gonna time and see how long it takes but i have it has never taken over 35 minutes to do a complete region so we got some important stuff start force dpf region So DPF region time, DPF region in progress. So I just started it. Let's see how this goes. You know, this is a amazing app by the OTI Diagnostic Link. I, I freaking love this app. You know, you have, this is your dashboard, your fault codes, where you see all your fault codes commands down here at the bottom which you have reset fault codes reset after treatment and do a forced DAPF region then you have live data which lets you see a lot of a lot of cool stuff see DPF suit level it's only at 31 percent which is not not full you know usually when you to do when you need to do a region is because your DPF suit level is it's pretty high or or close to full but I'm having other issues with the seventh injector so that's what's going on and yeah you got a you got a bunch whole bunch of uh, data going on then you can go to history go check out the history codes all right, so here's the deal. So I did the region and the active code is still on. So what I'm fixing to do is I am going to do a reset the codes. I'm going to reset the codes. And so I barely started my day, you know. I literally just started maybe about 60 miles ago. So I probably have another 600 plus miles to drive today. So I'm gonna reset the code and keep on driving. If that doesn't fix the issue, 
uh, I'm gonna check the other stuff one of the three other options that I had on the fog code but I be, I'm pretty sure it is the seventh ejector maybe that's faulty so might need to get that replaced so I'm fixing to reset the codes and hit the road and I'll let y'all know of any updates or by the end of the day see if anything else changed for so I'm just gonna go down here at the bottom to commands reset fog codes start reset You may see your check engine light or malfunction indicator light mail disappear while command is in progress. Do not start a vehicle during this command. Make sure you follow a bunch of warnings. Key on engine off. So no active codes. So if I'm still having the issue, it's going to let me know pretty soon that the light is going to come back on and it's going to tell me that, you know, still got an issue going on. Well, good news so far, I just made it to Joplin, Missouri, which is around 200, a little, little over 200 miles from Oklahoma City. So the, my lights have not came back. And I still have, have around 450 miles left to go, but I feel like if they would have came back on, they would have already popped back up, but so far so good. So I just made it to Effingham, Illinois. So after my lights came on, I drove around 500 miles and it didn't come back on, they didn't pop back up. Stopped here in the pilot, took a shower. So yeah, like I was saying, um, I highly recommend the OTR diagnostic tool to all truck drivers that are owner operators, especially if you are doing over the road. I mean, you know, the check engine light and the mail light came on, but when I went to the dashboard, it didn't tell me anything. All this, all it said was take it in for service. So let's see how they took it in for service. Took it into a TA, Freightliner dealership or even like a small shop, you know, how much would they have charged me total? So there's some shop, some shops that charge you for diagnostics, and then another shops charge you if they have to plug in the computer, plus labor charge, plus parts part, and let's say that they wanted to replace that, the seventh injector, which I believe it's around two to, 500 depending where you get it at. you know get it online get it at the dealership depending where you go but it's around that price range now with the otr diagnostic tool you know i just have to plug it in look up the code check out the code you know am i good to drive it like that for a little bit longer or no and i can go from there you know i was able to to fix the issue on my own without having to take to a shop plus taking it taking your truck to the shop is such a pain even for getting freaking tires you know there's always a long wait line you know customer service at 90 percent of these shops suck you know they don't want to do their job they want to take the slowest route possible so you're spending you know half a day potentially to a full day you know depending on the issue and these people they they like to drag on the hours because that's how they make money by time there's some shops that do it by by the job but they they especially the techs that are by hour you know they they love to drag that time and you can't really do anything say anything because you're not knowledgeable enough to know what the issue is i mean you're in the shop in the first place because you don't know what the heck is going on with your truck you don't know what those codes mean how to fix it or anything like that even if i didn't know how to fix the issue right even if, even after i looked up the code i still could not figure out what to do i would just take it to the shop and tell them i need this done and that's it you know some of these shops they're, they're like 
where you can bring it in but if we hook up the computer and we have to do a region that's extra charges or if you're over the road you know is it a road call or not extra charges or if you have to get your truck towed in extra charges like bro this load is paying five hundred dollars this is a joke this load is paying five hundred dollars I'm spending six hundred dollars on you just to clean the seventh injector make it make sense but it's a joke you know this load don't pay no five hundred dollars but there goes there goes all your profits in in a simple road call service so again very valuable tool to all owner operators otr diagnostic tool get yours in the link in the description peace